I'm Evgeny Podolsky, Arctic Research Center of Hokkaido University. Uh, geophysics and a bit of biophysics. And specifically, I study glaciers and whales uh, coming to these glaciers. Arctic is warming four times faster than the average Earth rate. So the changes are enormous and uh, it impacts ice and inhabitants of this unique environment. Because of its global implications for the sea level rise. And the future of your country will be very different depending on how we uh, deal with this information. So the processes we study about ice are important globally. Mainly I'm using seismometers and uh, microphones working underwater and above water. So sometimes I'm using ocean bottom seismometers. Sometimes I'm using an iPhone with which I can record sound. If you listen to vibrations of the bottom of the sea and the rock near the fast moving glaciers in Greenland, the rock is continuously shaking for days and weeks proportional to the speed of ice. So from this tremor we can say how fast the ice is flowing. Places I study are extremely difficult to approach because there are icebergs and um, sea ice. The way of underwater observations we uh, pioneering in Greenland opens a way to study ice, animals, and even anthropogenic uh, influence or noise from boats and etc. When I go in summer to Greenland or any other place where glaciers are, what impresses me is that um, the glacier we study is getting thinner for more than two meters. So I'm just impressed how fast Earth is changing there. I wanted to go outside, <laughs> honestly, because the remote areas of the poles are very beautiful and amazing. And also I liked work with data sets. Since I'm doing field and data processing, I enjoy diversity. Also, in my case, my sensors are recording everything, so I'm never bored. Well, it's very easy to fail in the field when something goes totally wrong and uh, your instruments are lost or destroyed. It's always good to be ready to try it again, because failure is normal. I work in very vast environments. How I feel sometimes very humble because the ocean is very big and you're very small and it can swallow you. I hugely enjoy working in the field because I see the most incredible places on earth. Like this giant icebergs or giant uh, glaciers or, or mountains. The beauty of it. So I don't have a specific science question as a goal. Probably my goal and dream is just to be able to follow my curiosity and to have ideas. If I have no curiosity and no ideas anymore, it means I'm finished as a scientist. So I hope I will keep having new ideas. Life is too interesting for staying in one discipline. So being curious about things and new things is the best.